Gonna make some jalapenos wrapped in bacon. So I've been letting my jalapenos out in the garden grow up pretty big. Um, as you can see, fairly good, fairly good size jalapenos. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these down, split them in half, and gun them out, and uh, make some vessels. We're gonna put some string cheese and sausage mix in there, and then we're gonna wrap them in bacon and cook them on the grill. Easiest way I found to gut them is I just cut them in half here and then I stick the pointy end up first just kind of work that spoon down like that usually goes pretty quick sometimes you get a lot of seeds but that's the fastest and easiest way I found to clean them for a lot of you uh, more sensitive people to hot peppers, I don't think jalapenos are really hot pepper myself, but you might want to wear gloves, um, especially if you just picked them off the, the plant. Um, wear gloves, don't touch your eyes, don't pick your nose, wash your hands good before you touch your, your wee wee. But myself, I'll wash my hands, I'll, I'll be fine. Usually, jalapenos usually doesn't bother me. It's the other hot peppers that get me in trouble. So I got them all rinsed off here and uh, nice and clean. You want to do that. You don't want to have seeds in there or uh, dirt, especially, you know, store-bought jalapenos you don't know who's been handling them or whatever so make sure you rinse them off really good and then we'll start making our stuffing or our uh, our sausage mix all right we're gonna prepare our sausage here and uh, this is just some Bob Evans you can use any type of sausage this is Italian you can use breakfast sausage, you can do hot sausage, whatever you like. And I just get a pound of this and uh, add all that goodness into there, into my bowls. And I got some cheese, mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, whatever, whatever type of cheese you like using pepper jack whatever sounds good well, I'm just gonna add a liberal amount um, this is a pound bag so eh, maybe half a pound maybe half the bag here it sounds about right And then here's where you can season it with anything. You don't have to season it with anything at all. It turns out good just as it is. But I like to put a little bit of garlic in there. And uh, you can add other stuff. And then we're just going to mix this all together. Oh, and uh, make sure you wash your hands before that because that would be nasty. But uh, we're just going to mix this all together and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done here. So here's my mixture. Uh, cheese is still a little bit frozen, but that'd be alright. I got it out of the freezer. But um, that's the mixture. Like I said, use any type of seasoning you want with it or not got some bacon and gotta have some toothpicks cheaper the better normally what I do is I don't use a whole strip of bacon I use a half a strip of bacon it wraps it pretty good but for you bacon lovers out there I am sure that you might want to use a whole strip of bacon
I got a little bit more bacon if I need it <clears throat> but we're gonna start packing these things and then uh, we'll get to grilling them and test them out for you guys been trying to do everything outside here and but the flies we're in that Michigan late summer where uh, it's warm during the day and cold at night and then y'all got a bunch of morning dew everywhere flies coming out pretty soon stink bugs are going to be everywhere but yeah pretty much I just pack it like that grab me a strip of bacon here and then normally I just when I get in a roll here I'll just start me out stick it in there wrap my bacon around stick another one in there to hold it and that's it man yeah I know it's hard no brainer but well there we go got us a tray of bacon wrap goodness let's get it on the grill I'm just doing a, a single layer here I don't light this up it's on the lowest setting because once it starts cooking that bacon grease starts dripping it wants to flame up so and be very careful you don't want to have a lot of high heat um, <clears throat> just enough to to cook it and so things don't get out of control all right it's gonna burn the junk off that get that charcoal going but why we wait shall we have us a, a bush hell yeah we should mm -mm -mm. here cheers bitches so while them charcoals are uh, getting ready, getting ready, get them on there. Thought I'd uh, just uh, catch you guys up to date. Uh, today, buddy got his giblets snipped, so uh, he come home all groggy and everything. And uh, we'll see how he does. He's doing pretty good, but I can't have him just running getting a neighbor dogs pregnant and just running rampant so yep he got his old junk cut looks kind of weird right now pickles uh i think in total i've did 12 12 gallons of pickles in total i probably got four and a half Four and a half gallons in the refrigerator. A lot of them went out to uh, friends and family. Of course, I've been getting these uh, these plastic gallon containers and transferring them over because uh, the glass jars are hard to find and they never come back. So the the quartz, like you see, the spears that I made, I probably have made 15. 15 or 20 and I probably got these four probably about seven seven right now out of that them it all went out to friends and family the giveaway the giveaway was awesome went down smooth and um, great guy won the uh, won the contest gray man outdoors very awesome all everybody that entered had awesome videos a lot of them I could relate to so I was pretty happy about that I got that package sent out to him today and then uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get a package sent out to Nathan it's kinda like a surprise package Nathan had sent me <clears throat> one of the big monster one inch ferrule rods um, some time ago and uh, just been wanting to put a package together and get it sent out so finally gonna get that sent out to, to him and uh, I hope you like it bud um, it's nothing extravagant but I think you get a kick out of it 
garden update gardens peckering out the um, cucumbers the pickling cucumbers they're they're peckering out that's it's less and less and less so them are coming to an end um, the zucchini are finally coming to the end I gotta I'm gonna have to start digging them up but we got we've had tons of zucchini um, I don't care if I see another zucchini until next year um, what else beans been doing um, about a half bushel every you know every few days or so about a half bushel every few days canned uh, seven quarts today and uh, screwed up on two quarts tightened them too tight they buckled up <clears throat> excuse me they did seal so as long as they sealed I'm just gonna keep them and uh, see what happens with them but um, other ones in the past that I've tightened down too tight and they've buckled they've sealed and they've, they've been all right but I gotta stop my habit of of cranking down on them especially the wide mouths the the regular mouths well, not so much but the wide mouths you, you don't want to crank down on them so um, hopefully they'll stay if not, we'll just eat them up. Sweet corn is getting uh, pretty big. I got ears about this long, um, but they're not filled out yet. Um, the jalapenos, like you've seen that we're cooking today, uh, I'm rocking the jalapenos. Bell pepper still. I do have a bell pepper. It's, <laughs> it's about that big, but um, they're they're like slowly coming along I think I might have like this produce of bell peppers right at fall and um, they may not be like nothing like last year last year was just ridiculously crazy and then to the tomatoes the tomatoes are they're doing good I got lots of tomatoes they're the type of tomatoes that um, you don't they just flower tomato and then close to end of summer that's when they ripen up and you just pick them all as they come into as they come to ripen and everything like that so about done a lot of flipping a lot of putting out the flames you know the bacon grease just gets everything flared up so you gotta have some beer some, some water and uh, they're just about done all right guys we gotta hurry up and try one of these things out man Everybody's coming over. They're going to eat them all up, so. Mmm. Yeah. Very awesome. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys are going to try this, just remember, if you've never done it before, you gotta babysit them. You gotta flip them and flip them. You gotta have some water, some something to keep down the flames, and just keep flipping them and babysitting them, and they'll turn out awesome. Till the next time, take care. Oh man, these are some pork steaks marinated in Italian dressing. I oh, bet them are gonna be good.